Hollywood shit. Yes, I lost my mind a couple motherfucking times. I'm trying to be real Hollywood. You know, take a little poodle to the movie theater with me. <laughs> There's some real sisters like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with your black ass? Bringing that motherfucking dog in here. I'm like, oh, okay, bitch, let me come back. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. That's cool, though. It's cool. And I be trying to, like, do shit that the Hollywood mothers do, like, you know, take a Tylenol PM and drink a cocktail and try to lay down and shit. <laughs> Being real Hollywood, because my kids be fucking with me, baby. My kids and lost, they didn't, they didn't fell right into the Hollywood shit. They had fallen right into it like they just little rich kids. I'm like, y'all don't have no fucking show called The Parkers. I got a show called The Parkers. You can't afford that motherfucking tennis shoe. Now you go get your shit and you can buy your own shit. But my youngest son, the youngest one is beautiful. Got a beautiful spirit. He want to save America. He loves everything. And he talk real white. That fucks with me. Because y'all know our dialect is fucked up being from Baltimore. They be trying to correct me. You can't say mother. People in Baltimore know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> shit, they understand me, but he talks real proper. And I'm like, where in the fuck did he get this proper bullshit from? It just eats me up. Mom, today at school, where the fuck did you say? <laughs> it's school, nigga, damn. Why the fuck you trying to be brand new? Shit. Now, my oldest son, smart as a whip, but he a thug. I said, there's some shit wrong with this picture, baby. And then they get, but they intelligent as shit. Like the youngest baby like to do mind shit with me. Fuck with my mind. He said, they're in private school, so they know shit I don't know. I went to Woodmore and Woodlawn. I don't know half the shit. They know, baby. I'm keep shit and graduated from Milford Mill, so I don't know a motherfucking thing, but I'm proud of the class of 85. But my youngest son fuck with my mind. He like to play little tricks and shit. He in school just fucking up fighting on the teachers. You know, and they call me up, and they be real white and professional. Now, I got to be real white and professional back with their ass. So I got to go up to school and have a conference and the teacher crying. I'm like, well, what the fuck is this bitch crying? What is she crying for? I said, well, what's, what's, what happened? Um, Mrs. Jackson, today, we had a problem. So I look at her, I said, well, what's the problem? <laughs> you know, uh, Shalon hit me in my face with a ball. And I'm looking at her like, okay, this bitch is red and crying. And Shalon sitting there looking like, what the fuck? She came off on me wrong, fuck it, I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> now this the kid that wanna save America, right? So I'm looking at him like, is this motherfucking crazy? Some shit done happened that done devastated his little ass. So I said, Shalon, did you hit her in the face with a ball? Yes, yes I did. Like, fuck it, yeah. She was out of line, and I did what I was supposed to do, and I protected myself. <laughs> I'm like, who is his fucking parents, this little motherfucker? So I said, well, you know, what happened? She said it was time to come in from recess, and Shalon didn't want to come in, and he stayed outside. And, you know, when it was time to come in, I chased him into the boys' bathroom. So I'm figuring, you was out of order, you chased him to the bathroom. He thought you was trying to see his little treatles. He hit you with that motherfucking ball. So I said, Shalon, you know, is, is that what happened? He said, yes. Now, see, being from here, you don't just say yes to your mother like that. You start getting a little nervous when she's like, nigga, what the fuck? You ducking, stood right there toe to toe. He said, yes, I hit her. I said, well, you know when we get home, I'm gonna whip your ass. He said, yes, I know. <laughs> so now I'm nervous, cause that ain't no shit you do to your mother. I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'm ready for you. So I'm like, boy, when we get home, I'm gonna fuck you up. Cause now you embarrass me in front of this bitch. You are not saying shit, just like, fuck it, I hit her, fuck that. I did my shit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Because now if you fuck your kids up, they send them to people to your house and shit. So I'm like, let me wait till I get this little black ass home and hit him right behind his ear. That's when you fuck him up, make him stumble. It don't leave no motherfucking mark. So I'm like, Shalon, you know when I get your ass home, I'm going to whip your ass. So we get in the car, whole way home. He holding on to his shit, like <laughs> looking out the window, like singing songs and shit to the radio. Now I'm driving nervous. See, this little nigga is crazy because he ain't scared. Then I'm ready to fuck him up when we get home. Not flinching. So we get home. I said, go in the room, take off all your clothes. Don't take off your drawers, every motherfucking thing. Go in the shower and wet yourself up. This ass whipping, you're going to remember when I kick your ass today. That was them hard ass. You're like, bitch, why well, I got to wet myself up? What kind of abusive shit is that? But I meant that ass whipping. Go in the shower, wet yourself up. He's still not flinching. So I go in there and I'm ready to do my shit. I'm ready to whip his ass. He said, mom, before you beat me, I need to tell you something. 
I said, what the fuck you got to tell me, Shalom? What you got to tell me? I know what I did was bad, but there were these voices. <laughs> what? The, these voices? And they were saying to me, do something bad, do something bad. So now I'm getting, I'm like, what the fuck is this Jeffrey Dahmer? What the fuck you hear? What the voices? So now I'm nervous. I'm like, okay, he's psychotic. And no parent wants to admit that kid is fucked up in the mind. That's some embarrassing shit. You, your girlfriend be teasing you and shit. Where that little crazy motherfucker, bitch? Where that little crazy nigga? You embarrassing. So I go out the room because now I'm nervous and I'm crying and I'm scared that Shalon has lost his fucking mind. So I said, okay. So I call my husband. I said, Mark, please come home. Shalon is hearing voices and I'm nervous and I'm scared. So he's like, okay, Monique, I'm on my way home. So Mark come home and sure enough, he go in the room. He in there for about two hours. I don't hear no talking. So he come out. He said, now look, he hearing some motherfucking body. I don't know who it is, but somebody tell him some shit. So let's lock our door. In case this little nigga come in here and start fucking up some shit in here. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh shit, what is going on? So I start calling the 800 crises numbers and shit because he's crazy, he hearing the voices. So I did not whip his ass because I figured he needs some Prozac or some shit and I shouldn't beat him just to get him some help. So I, he got out that ass whipping. About two weeks later, two weeks later, I'm sitting there watching the Cartoon Network. I don't never fuck with the Cartoon Network. It ain't my shit. But I'm just, something told me to stay with the Cartoon Network and the Rugrats came on. And y'all know that little bitch Angelica the real bad when they fuck up everything. I hear her telling her parents the same motherfucking story. I know I was bad, but there were these voices saying, do something bad, do something bad. Baby, I got in my car and ran my ass up to that school, pulled his black ass out of class. I said, baby, I know what you mean about them voices. I heard the same motherfucking voice that told me to whip your ass, whip your ass, you motherfucker.